dans Hyde Park, au cœur de Londres, à quelques mètres du mythique Dorchester, hôtel emblématique de la ville ouvert dans les années 30. Et aujourd'hui, je vais vous emmener découvrir la rénovation intégrale des espaces communs de l'hôtel. Pendant cet épisode, suivez-moi pour voir le nouveau visage du Dorchester. Bienvenue. Very That's good. Incredible Thank change. I know. Big, It's, big, big changes. Wow. So It's, I'm going to give you a little sneak preview to everything that we have been creating this past year. Um, It's another hotel. It's another hotel. So how do you yeah. feel four days before such a big reopening? It's, uh, it's exciting, you know, we've been getting ready for this moment for such a long time and it's like, you know, we're ready, we're ready, we're ready. So I think there's a lot of energy in the air. So this was really what we wanted to make sure, to be very reflective of the space. Of course, we will keep the feeling established, the sophistication, the elegance that this hotel has stood for so many years, but you will start seeing a bit more vibrancy, it will be a bit more captivating, and a bit more lightness. It's very elegant, very British, It's, much brighter. Yes, It's exactly. We wanted to be, as nice. I said, light and brighter. I mean, I invite you to look at the ceilings, the corporate ceiling, they're amazing. Flowers and everywhere. Flowers Incredible everywhere, flowers. of course. Our very famous Dorchester rose. So this is a flower that we we created ourselves. And ah. this is, yeah. Oh, it's so Dorchester it's really the Dorchester rose? rose? Been, yeah, it's been uh, registered oh. and everything. The renovation is, I mean, I am, I'm loving it. What we're coming around, it's going to be amazing. And I don't think there's going to be an hotel in London able to offer what we are offering. No, I'm in love with everything that we're doing. s'active derrière moi, ce sont les derniers préparatifs avant la réouverture de cet hôtel pour cette magnifique rénovation. On est au cœur de l'hôtel et la restauration est évidemment un élément essentiel de ce qui se passe ici. Et nous allons découvrir tout de suite le chef d'orchestre, celui qui a repréparé tous les concepts. Martine, je vous emmène le découvrir. You are the culinary director here and it's a complete reopening after a lot of uh, renovation. So what is the food and beverage concept that you will offer in the hotel? Yeah, I mean, a really exciting time for the Dorchester. Nearly 100 years old, but of course now they've decided that they're going to have a rebranding. So of course a very fresh look right from the paperwork mm. and then all the way through to the menu. So we've been working on that for six months now. Uh, looking at what, what people enjoy. So, of course, it's a house at the end of the day. So the food needs to reflect a little comfort style. People need to feel that they can eat as they wish. Alain Ducasse, uh -huh. the three-star Michelin. We have China Tang, very classic, been around for a very long time now. We have the grill by Tom Bouton okay. at the Dorchester. And then the space that we are here now, we're in the artist bar, um, very cocktail champagne led, but also the food that we have paired with this is very seafood driven the promenade and then the Vespa bar. It's a brand new design and it's going to look amazing. So we cross fingers. I hope it's going to be Absolutely. a big success. We're a bit like a team that hasn't played a match. <laughs> Lots of practices, but we just need to get on the field and play that game.
Un afternoon tea dans ce cadre si élégant, si britannique, c'est un moment absolument exceptionnel. Le Dorchester vient de terminer une rénovation majeure et je suis ravi de vous l'avoir fait vivre dans cet épisode. Si vous avez le moindre commentaire, si vous avez particulièrement aimé telle ou telle partie, n'hésitez pas à nous le dire. A très bientôt sur notre chaîne.